Hi, Kristen. Um, I just wanted to, you got to play a mom in this movie, and I just wanted to talk to you or ask you um, how that may have made you look differently at your own mom and how what that may have opened up for you just all around. Mom. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I think that... Uh, I, I think that it might be something that you're sort of born with or not born with. Some people, some people have really, really strong natural instincts, really like strong desires to be a mom. And um, it was one of my favorite things about the story from day one. There was never enough. There was never enough about that in the script for me. And luckily, Stephanie's been really involved in this last one especially and so she's on set every single day and it was something that we were really together about and um, I think that uh, how has it changed my I don't know I don't think it's changed much I think um, I mean it was one of it was it was one aspect of her that I was really most excited to play it, it feeds into the you know vampires have slightly more animalistic nature it was perfect for it it was like in, in what better way to show that you know, um, but I don't think, God, I don't think, um, I've always really felt, I've always really, uh, I have a great relationship with my mom and, um, she can be a bit feral when it comes to being a mom. I, I think, uh, I think that's kind of just what it is. I think, um, but no, I, I don't, I wish I could sit here. If I had an answer, I would totally give it. I, I, I don't think that I do. So I'm not going to make one up. Dude, um, no, I can't. I, for, I can't wait to be a mom. But like, you know, I can wait. <laughs> um. Kristen, you and and Rob and Taylor have been right. um, at the center not just of the Twilight story, but the Twilight phenomenon, mm. which has got to be a pretty singular experience. C can you talk about the bonds that you, the three of you, have formed that 10, 20 years ago only you guys are going to understand? What, what this was like. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to not be alone in that, I guess. But um, there are a lot of people that are exceedingly famous. I mean, I guess we share we share the movies. That's like the, um, another really common question is like, how is it going to be to walk away from this? I genuinely don't feel like I have to walk anywhere. Um, I don't have to. It, it's it, it's what I love about this job is you you hold these things. They're you wouldn't. I wouldn't have done it in the first place unless uh, unless it was something that I was going to always carry. And um, I think I think they feel the same way. <laughs> I mean, they they tell me they do. Uh, and in terms of you know having like that one person that like understands what it's like this this plight. You know, um, there are a lot of exceedingly famous people, and they all get it. I, I think, uh, yeah, there you go. I don't know. Kristen, uh, we, you just, you said you don't have to walk away. I get to hold on to it. Mm. We asked Rob about that also, and he said it's going to take about 10 years. <laughs> for what? <laughs> for To just to have it out of his system. My question to you is, are you glad it's over? Finally? Um... I'm really, I'm really happy to not have the, uh, uh, I'm so happy that the story is told. You have no idea. Usually you've got like five weeks, five months to look at a schedule and go, that day's coming up, that day's coming up. Uh, we had five years. And so, you know, the fact that this thing is out and it's not weighing on us anymore, super excited about that. But I, I don't want it to sound like I'm, you know, excited just to be done with the experience, because to be honest, it's it's like such a particular tone. Anything you, you do an interview for Twilight, you go back. To, I just started to develop a stutter. Do you know that? <laughs> um, uh, but anything like reshoots, it com conversations with uh, past directors, anything. It's like it, it just goes falls right back into that. It's just I don't know how to. Describe, it's a feeling, and I will definitely miss that. But again, I feel like it, it's not going anywhere. I feel like anytime something's brought up or you see someone, I mean, um, I mean, it's, it is, it is sad. It is strange, but, uh, I mean, it's normal. Things shouldn't stay 
stagnant, got to move 